Uh, today, the National People's Power uh, convened this press conference in order to highlight issues faced by children in the, of, of, uh, of our country, the children in our country, because often this is an issue that is ignored or disregarded or not talked about when we talk about the economic crisis and the political crisis that the country is currently facing. We talk about our, our dwindling foreign reserves, we talk about our GDP, we talk about uh, our, our, the need for debt restructuring, but we often forget at the, at the end of this, the impact of this is actually felt by people, by families, and, uh, and especially by children. There's, there are lots of issues that the children are facing currently, especially with regard to the disruption to education due to a variety of reasons. We know that first with COVID, that then with this economic crisis, more or less for the last two and a half to three years, children have not been able to access uh, education as they should. The education process has been severely disrupted. However, the, the government continues to function. The education system and the exam system, examination system, continues to function as if none of these disruptions have happened. The recent uh, ordinary level examinations were also conducted, uh, taking into a, a, a sort of assuming that the chil that children who face this exam were able to participate in the education process without disruption. They there was no, no consideration given when setting the paper uh, to the conditions under which the children were able to access education. This is completely unfair and completely contrary to any kind of education principle. The, this is not something that, uh, this is something that the Ministry of Education, those responsible for education should have prepared for because none of this came as a surprise. We know that the education system has, was disrupted. We know that the online education system was only accessible to a minority of students. There is no evidence to say how effective any of this has been, and yet there was no plan how to respond or how to anticipate the impact of, uh, of, uh, of this um, of this situation on the actual performance of, this, of the children, and the assessments are continuing as if uh, nothing, uh, as if uh, under normal conditions. This is extremely unfair. Uh, under the question needs to be asked: What right does the uh, does anyone have to fail a child or to cons call uh, to to label a child as having failed or underperformed in these kinds of circumstances? So uh, the the lack of preparedness on the part of the government with regard to how this uh, crisis is impacting, especially on children, is, is actually quite diabolical. The other issue that we want to highlight is also the mental health and psychosocial issues that uh, uh, the children in particular are facing. These are not currently priorities for, for, for the government. The priority, the, the preoccupation of the government seems to be on how to continue to stay in power. But the, act, the impact of, of all of the crisis, the impact of the crisis that uh, the successive governments have created, this is not a natural disaster, this is not a disaster that was uh, created as a result of uh, lack of uh, anything that happened beyond our control. These are conditions that were created by successive leaders in the country, and yet, and the mental, and the, and the, but the priorities of the government continue to be their own uh, efforts to remain in power rather than the impact that this is ha ha happening, this is having on, on, uh, on, on, the, on children and on, on their caregivers. The stressors that this uh, crisis is having on, care uh, on caregivers, on parents, is also affecting uh, the uh, well-being and uh, psychosocial well-being, the mental health and psychosocial well-being of children. We know that there have been an increase in uh, reporting of incidents of violence and abuse and domestic violence. And we call upon the authorities, even in, at this late stage, to set in place systems to prioritize uh, my mental health and psychosocial needs as much as other factors, because these, the, the failure to attend to address, to address these issues uh, will have long-term consequences, not just in the moment, but for generations to come. Uh, so, uh, once again, we know that this is the, 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 the leaders that we have do not care for 
the citizen well-being of the citizens of the country. We know that they have no empathy. We know that they don't understand the realities of our lives. Yet, we have no other option but to keep reminding them of these issues, to keep highlighting these issues because uh, it is essential that we as citizens uh, continue to agitate, to bring our concerns forward, to make, keep raising these issues uh, with this government and with our political uh, establishment and to organize ourselves uh, to fight against, uh, to, uh, to resist uh, these kind, these, this, uh, this, this type of governance, this type of political leaders who, uh, who do not seem to care about the real issues or the real problems that the citizens of this country face. Thank you very much.